Hello, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College to talk about JavaScript.info lesson 4.2, code structure. This is a short lesson and it really just has a couple major points, so I'll stay at the website for this one. The first major point is that every statement should be written on its own line for readability. While you can put two statements on a single line and separate those statements by semicolons, I'm sure you'll agree that putting each statement on its own line and terminating that statement with a semicolon is much easier to read. Now, some hotshots will write their JavaScript without semicolons at the end of the line, and that's actually allowed. That's called automatic semicolon insertion, and the browser and the specifically the JavaScript engine inside the browser will go ahead and terminate those statements with semicolons to separate those statements when that JavaScript is executed in the browser. However, it can cause problems. The author gives us an example of two statements that if written without semicolons will be pulled together as if they are one statement, which will cause an error because automatic semicolon insertion will not happen before an opening square bracket. So this is what the author wanted, but this is what the JavaScript engine read. So the moral to the story is even though there are times when you can write statements on multiple lines, and even though there are times when you can put more than one statement on a line, don't do it. Just write one statement per line and terminate that statement with a semicolon and all will be well. The last little part of this tutorial reminds you of how to put comments in on a single line at the end of a line as a multi-line comment. Thank you.